Hey everyone, this is your English teacher. Today, I would like to present the 10th unit's second lesson by the name The Grasshopper and Ant Before You All. Alright, it's a classical lesson about a grasshopper, like you can see in the text, uh, the picture. It's a classical story about a grasshopper and an ant. Alright, how this story unfolds into a wonderful life lesson for us. What are the contents and what are all uh, the important facts we need to find out about the story? Let's read and understand. All right. So, like I said, the name of the story is the grasshopper and the ant. What is grasshopper? This greenish creature holding a guitar-like thing. You see. It is grasshopper and, and we all know the hard working creatures. There are two types. We have black ants and then the red ones. Alright. So let's read without any further delay. I hope you all you all are ready. What you can do is open your book alongside to see the things well. Okay. So here we go. Once they lived a lazy grasshopper. He didn't like to work. All day long, he sang songs and played in the warm sunshine. He he, look at me. I am as happy as can be. The grasshopper laughed at the hard-working ants as they worked day and night. All right. So, once they lived a lazy grasshopper. This grasshopper was very lazy. If you are lazy, you don't work at all. So this grasshopper was very lazy. And then the ants were very hard working. See, they are carrying heavy, heavy things on their back, right? So this grasshopper was sitting, singing song and making fun of them by laughing. Say, hee hee hee, you see how I enjoy, how we enjoy. But then you all, you work so hard. He was making fun of them. Okay. Let's continue reading. We are here. Okay. We are storing grain for the long winter ahead. So winter season is very cold, right class? Human beings, we, we find it very easy. We wear warm clothes and get out. But then animals, they don't wear warm clothes. So what do they do? They live inside their houses during winter. So the ants said, you know, we are storing grain for the long winter ahead. They replied. The lazy grasshopper only laughed louder. She was laughing louder. Ha, 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 something like that. Okay. And he said, summer ended. So slowly and slowly, what happened? Summer ended. Okay, it was the end of summer and the cold winter arrived. Winter is very cold, right? So the wind blew strong and strong. Wind was blowing stronger and stronger. And it started snowing. What is snow? This uh, white flags that fall, right? So, wind blew, snow started falling. All in all, it was very cold weather. You'll see the pictures and understand. The, the grasshopper now began to worry. He was tense. There was so much tension. Why? There is no food to eat. No grass, no flowers or leaves. I can't even see the tiniest fly or worm. What will I do? I will surely starve, he cried. He was shouted, he was crying. Okay, he said, you know, there is no food, no grass, no leaf. I cannot see anything. It's so cold. What will happen? I will surely starve. What do you mean by starve? Starve means a condition where you are very hungry, but then you have no food to eat. So he was worrying whether he'll die out of starvation. Okay. So he came to the ant's place and he started crying. He said, let me meet my kind neighbor, the ant. Okay, he said, let me meet my kind neighbor, the ant. But then remember class, in the summer season, he was making fun of the ant, right? While the ants were walking, see? While the ants were walking, he was making fun of them. But then it's cold now. So he, he has nothing to eat. That is why he has come to the ant's place. Let's see what will happen now. Okay. The grasshopper remembered how the hard-working ant had stored away grain for the winter. So what did he do? He knocked at her door and he started. He said, Dear ant, I am hungry and cold. I have nothing to eat. Please, can you give me some food? All right. The ant shook in anger. 
Man was very angry. He said, lazy one. What were you doing all summer? You were only singing and dancing. Because he was singing and dancing in summer, right? So, the ant is scolding her. He said, you are a lazy person. You are a lazy thing. You were dancing in the summer. You should have thought of the cold winter months ahead. So, he was angry. He said, go away. She slammed the door. Slam means she closed the door. She banged the door. Okay. The door was shut. The lazy grasshopper was left as hungry as before. Because, see, he did not think about his future and he was just thinking about his present. Okay. So, see here he was trying to uh, talk to this ant but then this ant replied him angrily, Go away, we don't want to help. So, class, this is from Aesop's fable. It's a wonderful story. What is the moral? The moral is, you should not enjoy when things are fine you should also work hard and think about future okay so always work hard and make sure things are on the brighter side so what are the new words we have learned hard working arrived starve slam slam means to close starve if you don't get to eat food arrive means to come hard working if you work really hard if you're not lazy then you are hard working Okay, so wonderful, wonderful story concludes here. Now let's see the exercise. What do we have here? Reading is fun. Let's do this exercise. How did the grasshopper span his days? The grasshopper span his days singing and dancing. Did the grasshopper find food in winter? No, the grasshopper did not find food in winter. The ants turned it away. What did the ant tell the grasshopper when he asked for food? They told him that he was the lazy one. He should go away. And now let's talk. You see here, alright. It says if you are asked for to store things for the winter, what would you store? Name any three things. You can store food. You can store Whatever you will need in winter, which is difficult to find in summer, right? Now, which season do you like best? It depends upon people. For me, if I were to choose, I'll say spring season. It's neither cold nor hot, right? Summer season is really very scorchy. Then, tell the class the story of the grasshopper and the ant in your own language. So, class, this could be chosen by you. Now, we have word building. Circle the words that mean the same. Speak, talk, shout. Shout does not mean speak, isn't it? So, talk. Then, complete, finish, start. Start means to begin. So, the word is finish. Small, thin, little. So, the correct word is little. Sick, ill, stout. Stout means fat. So, the correct answer is ill. Sick and ill, same. Big, large, fat. Fat. If you are not lean, you are fat. The correct word is large. All right. Well, it's very simple. Then what else do we have? The word web. You see, there is this ice man sitting on winter with word web. So what does it say? Let's find out. It says, when you hear winter and summer, what are the words that come to your mind? Write these words. You can see scarf, jacket, muffler, sweater. Okay. Then firewood, etc. You can write them. Summer ice cream. And then, uh, hot sun, okay, warm weather, cool drinks, etc. will come to your mind. Then let's write letters with numbers are given in the box. See, letters plus number. Pick up the letter under each number and replace numbers by writing it in the blank. We'll have to find 24th letter here. Okay. So, you have to count starting from A, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X. Isn't it? So, 24 letter is going to be X. And then you fill them as usual. It's simple. It's a very funny story. See? They have given a key here, right? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M. N O P Q R S T U V W X Y Z. Okay. So it's not traditional. 
they have given letter corresponding to number a3 b14 c8 and so on so fill it up accordingly okay so 24 which number is 24 which number is 24 is g so we'll write g here okay let's try to do it then which number is 15 let's find out which number is 15 so 15 is here r so class it's very fun uh, activity do it on your own the next what do we have under picture a sentences describe what each person slash animal is doing under picture b write down what each is doing okay picture a person or animal is doing picture b write each write what each is doing okay so see it's a park setup children are playing a man is walking a girl is uh, riding bicycle and picture b a woman the woman is washing her cloth the dog drinks water father sleeps the children are the children are what swinging rain not swinging skipping see lady is cycling man is running two girls are playing a dog is sleeping like that you got to write then finally we come to conclusion with this handwriting practice handwriting practice is one important element i keep telling you you got to do it on your own how will you do very neatly see the sun it's not coming up properly because my digital uh, tools are not that smooth okay shines in the sky so practice them on your own class so this is the conclusion of today's lesson it was a lovely lesson wherein we learned about this uh, grasshopper and ant let's wind up the session thank you everyone for joining in if you like the work remember to like the channel share and subscribe okay thank you bye bye have a great time